Hello everyone, it's the Canadian Futures Trader here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to the video. Gotta get more followers. If you have not already, be sure to subscribe, turn on those notifications, get notified every time I put out a brand new video. Guys, today, gonna try to keep this one short. A little bit more of an educational how-to video. I get asked a lot of questions, you know, how to do something in Jigsaw, how to do something in IntraTrader. So I thought I would pass on this tip because I didn't know this one myself until not too long ago, and it's working out real well for me. And the question is how or can you use a different data feed with your trader valuation or your funded trader program. So a good example is, I personally have a Ninja Trade brokerage account. I pay for data through that account and it is provided to me through CQG, who I will say is a little bit more of a superior data feed than the Rhythmic connection itself. Oftentimes people complain about Rhythmic, they say it's choppy, it gets delayed when the market is moving fast. Well, one way to solve that is to have a more reliable kind of high quality data feed. Now, I personally just have one naturally through my Ninja Trader account. I mean, I pay for that data, um, so I might as well leverage it and use it on my other Rhythmic account. So let me show you how to do that. In Ninja Trader, if you go to Tools and you go to Options, guys, it is as simple as can be. Go to Market Data right here under Preferred connections, real time, it's a little bit cut off. Click on that. So I only trade the futures. Obviously, Ninja Trader, you can trade quite a bit of different products and markets, but I only trade futures. You can select who your preferred connection is. So that is the connection I use when I'm connected to my Ninja Trader brokerage account. You can drop this down and you can see there's lots of different selections here uh, that you can choose from. Another option, for example, uh, would be Kinetic as well. They are a company that basically only provides data. I mean, you sign up with Kinetic, you are getting a data feed and there's no account associated with that. Like I said, I choose NinjaTrader Continuum because I already have a CQG feed through my NinjaTrader account and that is the connection that I use. But you can see here, obviously, there are plenty of other options. I know uh, sometimes I see people say they, are, they have accounts with interactive brokers, for example. Well, if you're paying for data through interactive brokers and you find it to be pretty reliable, you could choose that instead. So the way this will work is if you're connected to both your data feed and to another account, and even say a third account, whatever you're connected to, it will by default pull the data from this connection that you've stipulated. If you aren't logged in to this data feed, it will just revert to whatever kind of the default is. So for example, let me give you an example. I'm signed into a Rhythmic account for one of the trader evaluations. I don't wanna pick a favorite, but let's just say I'm signed in with XYZ company and Rhythmic and nothing else. It will just automatically use their Rhythmic connection. Now, if I was to then connect my Ninja Trader brokerage account, Ninja Trader will say, hey, CFT prefers that we use the data from that connection and that is the data that we will use. It will then just start using that data. Now you're still trading your whatever account you selected, it's just what data feed is pulling in the information. I hope that is clear and I hope that makes sense. I'm recording this video on a weekend so I can't really demonstrate it for you, but honestly there's not much to demonstrate because you wouldn't really see anything on the screen that is much drastically different. So you just kind of have to trust me uh, that it works. So guys, that is basically it. If you have another data feed that is more reliable, you can certainly just use that as a default. So to put this in perspective again as well, whenever I am trading either my funded accounts with the various trader companies, or if I'm going through an evaluation, I also sign into my Ninja Trade brokerage account, even if I'm not trading it, just so that I could leverage its data connection in those other accounts. So that gives you a little bit of idea of how to use that. I hope this helps some of you. And like I said, even if you don't have a brokerage account with a data feed, you can certainly go sign up for a specific data feed if you're willing to invest the money and pay for it. Now it's not gonna be cheap, like you're probably looking at give or take 100 bucks, 150 bucks a month, like in, for futures markets at least. So it's not gonna be cheap, but you could do something like a Kinetic or an IQ feed. I'm not as familiar with some of the others, like I recognize them by name, but I have no idea like what they charge or anything like that. So. 
and I know some of these are just brokerages, like you'd have to have an account with Interactive Broker or TD Ameritrade, I assume. But that said, there are options. So if Rhythmic is giving you issues or whatever other account you're using is giving you options, something like a Kinetic or use your brokerage data feed. Guys, I am going to leave it at this. I wanted to make this video short and it's already a little bit too long. That is how to, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or better yet, send me an email from my website and I will do my best to help you out. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.